Okay, this is my favorite fighting game ever. I, I just totally love this. And Elliot hasn't played it, so this is exciting. Yay! Oh, wait. Is it sound disabled? It might be. Why would it be? Because uh, sometimes I play games on emulators without sound. But we were just playing on sound. Yeah, but this is this is a uh, oh. PlayStation. Yo. I I just absolutely love this game, and I've had so much fun with it. Lightweight Bushido Blade. Oh yes. Yes. The great thing about this game, for anyone who hasn't played it, is that, like. There's so low of a learning curve that someone who's never played it before can just pick it up and like go against someone who's played a lot of this. And it's so fast paced and uh, god I've spent like so many so many hours in various situations playing this game with people. I love the music. And all these are like I love these portraits. Ah, it's, this is great. We're playing one of our controllers. We're doing like a weird kind of Bluetooth thing with it that isn't that responsive. So Elliot might be at a disadvantage. We'll see if his controller responds well enough. I hope it does. Versus mode. Okay. So here's how it works. Um, it loads. So fastest character to the left, uh, strongest character to the right and slowest, so it's, it's, it's all, it's a very like linear balance between speed and power, is how the characters work in this game. Gotta be Black Lotus. So it shows the, um, the length and the, the, uh, the weight of the weapon, and that's all about how fast it is, and, and uh, how long it is, so. It's a cheater. Yes. Indeed. Okay, so before we start, um, it's all about bamboo thicket. But I'm gonna, I'll show you, I'll show you how to, uh, how to control this game if I can remember. Cause there are some like weird controls that you would never figure out. So, uh, circle is your like uh, medium hit. Triangle is your high hit, X is your low hit. Uh, let's see. Wait, um, you can change stances with R1 and R2. Um, I've got to figure out, sorry, I'm not trying to stay away. I'm just trying to figure out uh, the other controls to this game. Oh, this game is crazy. Um, Okay, yeah, um, L1 is run. And if you- Whoa! Okay, here's, here's the wow. other- here's, Wait, wait, hold up, though. There's more you should know. If you press- I'm gonna have to show you this. If you press R, uh, R2 and R1 like this, while you're running, you jump. Which is very useful. Mm -hmm. Um... There's one other thing you can do in this game that I'd like to see if I can figure out. Uh, there's a weird combination of buttons that allows you to throw sand in people's eyes and also throw a little dart at them. Um, I can't quite remember how to do it though. It's been a while. Okay, let's, maybe I'll figure it out at some point, just, but yeah, let's just do it. Oh. <laughs> but, yeah, you button mash here. Okay, this is not really working. Sometimes this happens, just press back, yeah. Oh, dummy. So there you go. If you press now, you can press X. If you press X now, you can skip this stuff and just go back into fighting. Well, not me, but you. No, you do. Alright, press it. There you go. He's like. 
weird hair on his arms. Which I'm really into. Oh. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, that's I think that's why this game is fun. It's really fast. He's broke down, but I like it. Oh! Oh, I gotta run away and switch stances. <laughs> what am I? I think you're blocking. Hey, your arm's all fucked up, so you're like bad at using it now. Which can happen. You killed me. Yeah. Whoa, this game is crazy. It's really cool. So you're the one who gets to skip the replay. With one of your butts. They won't let me skip it. Maybe start. <laughs> so after this, let's uh, whoever loses this one, let the countdown go down, and uh, we can try another level. Or try out the characters and swords and things. <laughs> wow. Can I skip the replay? Winner skips the replay and the loser gets to continue. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I like him, but he's a little, I don't know, he's a little slow. I, the sword I picked is really weird too. So I, I, I really love this. Underground Grotto? Oh, you want to go younger point? I mean, we'll, 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 like, there's not that many levels. And the battles are so quick, we can probably just do a quick, uh, quick tour of them all. I wish I could remember how to do the, uh, throw sand in people's eyes thing. Shine! Ah! Yeah, I love, I love the running into each other and, like, rolling around mechanics. I don't know what's happening. Like we're, we're, not doing, we're not doing a good job of hurting each other. Because our weapons are both, like, super long. If you know what I mean. Oh, you can run faster than I can. Kinda. I like my little, like... Like, we're, we're running... <laughs> No! Oh, nice. Oh, I did a loop loop on you. Yeah. Yeah, this That's... weapon is so slow. Oh, but I like her. It's too slow for me. I like it though. The Naginata is cool. Bushido Blade 2 is, is also quite good and fairly different, so uh, we can... We can do that sometime in the future. The katana is pretty good, I think. Well, I'm gonna use the saber. Hey, it's your party. This game is cool. Yeah, I, I, I think it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm pleased. Oh, no! <laughs> I demand a rematch. Hoo! No! I'm so slow. <laughs> that's that's a see. That's one thing you can do in this game if you want to. You can just totally rush people at the beginning. It's really easy to block against that. But if you catch someone unaware, hey, you want to rush me? You want to rush me? See, not anymore. I've, I've, I've learned my lesson. I'll saber you. I like just running around the levels, too, though. It's a... Well, you know who made this game? Square. Yeah. Which, like, they... This is, like, one of their weird games. Yeah, it's one of their, like, weird... It's one of their weird games, and I don't know why they didn't make more of these. 
They're good at fighting games, apparently. Mm. Trying to figure out how to do the throwing dirt stuff. Mm. Yeah, Saber is weird. I'm just totally mad. Okay. This guy is also so slow. Oh! So yeah, anyone, anyone in the uh, in, in the chat here who hasn't played this game and likes to uh, play fighting games with people who maybe are like maybe even people who don't play video games that much, this is like a great choice. This is a really good party game. Yeah, this is cool. Like I've played this with a lot of people who just like aren't even like have never even played a fighting game. It's super easy to get into. And, uh, just the ridiculous way these fights can, can go down is, is, is pretty entertaining. You know? Man, I just want to throw sand in your eyes. That's all I want. I'm using the sledgehammer. The sledgehammer can be really good. Ah, oh, you got me. Oh no! Wait, I hit you on the head with the sledgehammer. No, I I, I need a rematch. You didn't get me. I hit you in the head twice! Oh! You cut me in the face? Yep. I, I refuse to accept this humiliation. Ah, you got me. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a really good mechanic. The like after someone is dead, just just beat their corpse and like like red red pixels fly out of it. Great mechanic. It's very GTA. Yeah. Mina. I swear it's not that difficult to throw sand in people's eyes. Okay, next level. I haven't killed you yet. Oh, I guess I did. You killed me a couple of times. No, I mean, I, 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 I didn't realize I killed you in one hand with the sledgehammer. Also, she wears, wears uh, red underwear, as you can see. Oh. A lot. Very often. So nice. Uh, I need to still play with the long sword. Uh, there's a couple swords I haven't used yet. Have you played with the, the Nodachi yet? No, I haven't played with any of them to really So, the, the Nodachi, um... The Nodachi, I'm not that good with it, but if you're if you're good with the Nodachi, it can just, like... It's super cheap. Like, Lydia is... My friend, my friend Lydia is really good at using the Nodachi, and... It's, like, horribly, horribly cheap. Like, you can... It's, like, game-breaking if you know how to use oh, it. Oh, wow. Bushido Blade. A lot of load. Oh, this level's really big. Oh, the, the, it's so big. It's pretty big. And it's fairly, it's like fast and hard to block if you are good with it. Is it bigger than a katana? Yeah, it's, I think it's the biggest weapon in the game. It's the biggest sword. Jesus. Killing with one hand. I don't really like the big weapon type stuff usually in fighting games, except I like playing Nightmare and uh, Soul Calibur. Ah, uh, but... you would. Well, he's not my favorite. He's maybe my second favorite. Who's your favorite? Ivy, obviously. It's a solid choice. I think Ivy... As long as it's not uh, Killer. No. I I prefer in fighting games playing the, the character who has the most difficult moveset to pull off, like in Smash Bros. it's like Ness or Lucas. Uh, yeah. Definitely my favorite. Like, I like when they're really hard to master, but like, if you can figure it out, it's really rewarding. Oh. 
Oh, this is actually okay, this, this combination. Well, also this combination of characters, because you're playing with the fastest character with the largest weapon. That's a combination yeah. that's pretty hard to beat. That seems pretty hard. Well, I'm also trying to do like different stances of your, I don't know, your woman shit. This game also has a good aesthetic for like an early PlayStation game. Oh. <laughs> oh, I like I like the look of the character under the water. Yeah. That was good. Go to the next level. Yeah. Oh wait, what do I press to? Oh. I don't really I don't really like this fastest character very much. I think I usually play as her, or at least did when I played this game more. You haven't seen JoJo, but the second best character kinda looks like one of the JoJo characters. That might not be an accident. I mean, you know, JoJo's from the 80s, so. So I haven't used broadsword or longsword. Uh, neither of those have been my favorites, as I recall. I use longsword. I mean, there's ways to use. The thing about this game is it's it's pretty well designed in that. Are we had underground grotto. Yeah, we haven't yeah. done that yet. Got two levels left after this. Most of the weapons, there's ways to use them really effectively. But it takes takes some, uh, some effort. Naginata, I really like. <laughs> There's one weapon that like lets you do crazy flips and stuff. Oh, I like that. Oh, you know look how at how cute he is. I think that might be the uh, the super short weapon that lets you do flips. Oh. Oh. Each of these characters also have a secondary weapon that you can just throw at somebody and stun them, which makes the game a lot more fun. I just don't remember how to do that move. Next time we play this, I'll, uh, I'll have it on. Oh no! I had such a good attack to kill you with and you beat me. There hasn't been a lot of arm and leg stuff in this, which is unfortunate because that can be really fun. Oh, switching stances right at the beginning is like impossible. Yeah. Oh wait, okay, after this let's go to the next level. Yeah, I just like his, I like this sword's other stance a lot. <laughs> Seems like the, uh, the control is working okay, right? Yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. I think, I think there's a little lag, but it is what it is. Okay, let's go to the next level. Two more swords to try anyway, so we're we're on point. Have I played all the characters? Yes. Uh, I wish there were more characters. I did like black. Yeah. Guys. Well, you you like all this stuff that you're wishing about is expanded in Bushido Blade Two. Bushido Blade Two is, is is a little more conventional in a lot of ways than this game, but it's also really good and it does uh, have some improvements. That's a game, we'll, we'll, we'll stream that too. How Shido you... Blade 2 is really great. And also has a really good single player uh, mode. A couple of them. And it has a first person mode. <gasps> what? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, ooh. You got me. All the levels in this game are good too. Yeah, I like that. I like this like, it's very samurai movie, the speech level. Yeah, all the levels are atmospheric, which is which is what you want out of a fighting game because in a game like this, like the level itself doesn't really like affect your play that much. So you just want some like some atmosphere to your uh, your goofy PlayStation One fight, and that's what this uh, game offers. Oh, you stabbed me in the face! <laughs> now, let's do one more here and uh, go to the last level, man. Sure, yeah. If you're okay with that. No, no. I love this running mechanic though. Yeah. It works really uh, well. The second one The second one does keep that, which I think is, is one of the more fun things about the game. That game I haven't played in way longer than this one. Because this one I still end up like oh, playing yeah. this with like friends. Oh yeah. Shit. No, it's My like bad. Well it'll go fast. Ooh. Okay. Let's go to the uh, final final stage. 
crying at his stage. Yeah, I like his arm hair. Yeah. It's inconsistent. It's very inconsistent. But, you know, the PlayStation tries. It tries its best. Yeah, I think the PlayStation is really working on it. The second one looks a little... This is like an early PlayStation. Mm, I really like the graphics in this. <laughs> we should play some other weird Square games. Like, we should we should right. play... Uh, we should play Einhander. Einhanda? Einhanda, yes. It's, uh... I want to play from It's Square's, uh... Square's shmup. I am not good at schmucks, but... Yeah, but it's cool. It's a cool no, game. No, I'm in, I'm into cool. Even, even if you're, like, not into it, it's cool. I mean, more, more, like, not, and not in terms of, like, games I like. I mean, like, literally technical. I'm not yeah. very good at schmucks. Yeah. We did good at... What was that game? What's the Square 3D platformer from this time? It's not Klonoa. Um, oh, let's get out of my face. <laughs> Wait, the, is it, it's the Samurai game, right? Yeah. Um, what is it called? What is that called? The Little Samurai Man. You play the Samurai dude. It's like an action RPG. Prey Fencer Musashi. That's right. Yeah. That's another weird, like, not JRPG square game from this time period that is cool. And of course there's the uh, Square's survival horror game, Parasite Eve, which we streamed a little bit of. Yeah. We They're should, all great games. We should play a little bit on my version of that. Yeah, sure. I, I, I love Parasite. I didn't miss the things that we missed. <laughs> you didn't fuck it up? Yeah, and I didn't fall asleep while we were playing. Because I did fall asleep when you played it before. I am going to... Um, I know you're not. I was going to run away, but uh, you got me. Okay, let's do like... Um, let's do three more and then... Um, I think Miku should be ready. Well, yeah. We can also take a little break. We'll, we'll have to stop the stream and like set it up again to do Miku. <laughs> I love that running into each other. There's, like... there's a lot of, again, it's square, so there's a lot of attention to detail and, and there's like little things. <sighs> Oof. The fact that you have a long recovery time after you do moves is one of the things that makes this game fun. Yeah. I Once agree. you miss a move, your opponent immediately has an opening to, to kill you. Which but that's is, like which pretty, is fun. It's pretty realistic too, right? Maybe. I've never had a oh. fight to the death with anybody. Well, I've done fencing before. I have not. And that's kind of what it's like. Okay, so uh, I guess this is the last, last match here. I like that his eyes are still open even though he's dead. Well, no, his his eyes are closed, and when you hit rematch, they open up. That's a that's a cool mechanic in this game. Before we stop it, uh, okay, yeah, I'll show you. It's it's uh, at least this is one of the this is like maybe the first PlayStation game I played. Uh, actually, I think the first PlayStation game I played might have been Croc. Oh yeah, her eyes did close. Like the second. Well, you'll see. Check it out. This is what this is how it works. So it's like game over. Oh, you can't see your eyes. Oh yeah, it's zooming in. All right, we gotta do it again. I'm gonna. I know it. Let me let me kill you, actually, because I think your guy seems to like to fall face up, or at least he did last time. I'm not pressing anything. He's just like oh, I know, I know. That's, that's how this game. That's works. weird. Oh shit! Uh, I had to kill you from the front, huh? Okay, your my sword's too short, so just try uh, try getting me from the front there, with, like trying. How can you take that many hits? I'm blocking. It's... There we go. I did move. Okay. Let's see if we can, uh... Don't show my face. I thought this was super cool when I saw this game as, uh... Impressionable. Uh, oh, you can press your eyes? Do it, do it. Her eyes... Uh, you, you, couldn't really, you couldn't see it. Is this worth it? Let me, let me try and get you again. Just use a low attack. My sword's too short. Just keep low attacking me. Wait, let me change my stance if I can. Yeah, no, you're using the rapier, right? Yeah. Yeah, I really like that sword, actually. <laughs> it's really hard to do this with that sword, but... There you I go. did fuck your leg up. I did it just for you. Okay. I got so up. you're like kneeling that we didn't get into that mechanic in this really, but that means your leg is broken and you were gonna like hoffle around for the rest of the match. Okay, yeah, you can see oh. yeah, there you go, I open, you can see it. I thought that was the coolest thing ever at the time. And it still seems like a nice little attention detail yeah. uh, touch. 
Okay, so um, we're gonna have to shut down the stream for a bit and uh, switch systems over and see if Miku is done. And if Miku isn't done, we're, I guess, just gonna wait until it finishes because this is all we had planned other than that. But um, we'll be back. Yeah, thank you guys for watching this and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. We did.